Hey guys, welcome to today's video. And this time in our unit in that guide, we're going to talk about the Imperial Sergeant Crossbowman. Now, like all of the other Empire units, the Sergeant Crossbowman line can be recruited in villages and towns in Empire territory. Since this tree is part of the standard one, it will be easier to find in villages bounded to towns rather than the ones bounded to villages. The first thing to be said about the Imperial Sergeant Crossbowman is that, unlike its Vlandian counterpart, the Empire range line branches into the crossbow only at tier 4, leaving us with two tiers of chip and a bit unreliable archers. But once you get there, you get a unit with more upsides than the sharpshooters, especially when it comes to versatility. The major upsides for the Sergeant in comparison to the sharpshooters is the ability to use a mace. If you watched the video about the legionaries, you may already know that maces are quite important when it comes to melee fighting, as they are able to deliver more unblocked damage to armor, and they will not kill the units, meaning that they are very good at grabbing prisoners. Talking about the skills now, the major skills we need to talk about are the crossbow being a 130, the one-handed being a 130, and the athletics being also a 130. If you're wondering, these are the same stats the sharpshooter comes with. So when talking about templates, the Sergeant Crossman will have a lot of locked items. These are the items that will always be present in all three templates. So we got the Ikori Crossbow, the Bolts, the Kite Shield, the Shoulder Armor, the Body Armor, the Gloves, and the Boots. All of these items cannot change, the only item that can change in the Sergeant Crossbowman templates are the weapons and the helmet. The Ikori Crossbow brings 62 reload speed, for 93 damage, 99 accuracy and 90 missile speed. Now the only two stats we really need to consider here are the damage and the reload speed. The reload speed is 62 and the damage is 93. We need to compare this crossbow with the counterpart crossbow that the sharpshooter get, we have 1 less reload speed, 7 less damage, 1 point less of accuracy and 7 less points of missile speed. So at the end of the day the Ikori crossbow is not as good as the bound crossbow for obvious reasons. The second item on this list is gonna be the ammunitions. The bolts, these are gonna be the same for sharpshooters and um, sergeants. They come with a stack of 20 and they have an accuracy of 100 for a damage of 0 pierce. This is not actually that they do 0 damage, this means that they don't do any extra damage in comparison to what the crossbow brings. Which is one of the major downsides to crossbowmans is that they simply don't get more damage when it comes to their weapon. They basically have poor scaling. On the other side, the archers have a very good scaling as they go up in skill and they simply do more damage even coming to a certain point, especially when your hero has some very good perks and you have a few good captains helping the archers formation out, they simply outmatch any crossbowman when it comes to shooting. Another item that the crossbowman will always spawn in is the reinforced iron rimmed kite shield. Now this shield is not the best, it's definitely not supposed to take heavy hits, it's not supposed to be a frontliner even, it's just a utility shield coming in with 82 speed and 290 hit points. 290 hit points is far from what I would consider good, but for a crossbowman that's more than enough. One of the upsides is the weight of 4.7. If you go and compare this shield to the Pavi shield, the Pavi has way more hit points, but it's also way heavier, meaning that the unit will move slower. Now, the first piece of armor that the Sergeant Crossbowman will always spawn with is the Legionary Reinforced Studded Harness. This is the same um, that is present in one of the Legionary templates, and it's not really the best, it comes with 6 body armor and 8 arm. It's quite poor, but it's always the same. The second piece of armor that the Sergeant Crossman always spawns with is the Infantryman Mail Vest. And this one may not look great on paper because of that low body armor count, 
but to be fair it's quite a balanced armor and it does kind of cover everything that needs to be covered the body armor is a bit low but at the same time it is the best in class when it comes to crossbowmen. The third piece of armor that the sergeant crossman will always spawn with is the reinforced padded mittens. This brings an armor of 18 for a weight of just 0.8. They're pretty good and they also don't even look too bad. The last but not least piece of armor we need to talk about is the strap male chassis. Leg armor when it comes to infantry, it's not really great, the greatest, but when it comes to archers, uh, they can get shot, especially if they're getting shot by other archers. So this is quite important, and they do come in with a respectable 23. Now that we talk about all of these items, let's talk about what changes in the template. Template 1, for example, this is the template that will show up when you search for the Sergeant Crosswoman in the encyclopedia. Sergeant Crosswoman, only difference... Uh, from what we already talked about is the helmet and the weapon as they come in with a fine steel paramarion with 84 swing speed 72 cut for 116 length that's a pretty good one and that sword only problem is the speed it's a bit sl on the slow side with 84 it does have the reach and it definitely does have the damage to two shot pretty much everything also it's the same sword that the legionary can get the other thing that changed in template 1 is the helmet. The crossbowman does come in with three different helmets, one for every single template. And in the basic template, they come in with the iron round kettle over mail. It's an helmet that brings 36 head armor, and the only major reason that really differs it from the others are the metal stripes at the back. Now, talking about the other two templates, they are very similar, they do bring the same weapon, the only thing that changes between them is the helmet. So let's go and talk about the weapon immediately. They can spawn with the Imperial Light Mace. As a mace, it is quite a fast swinger as it does bring 92 swing speed and also combines that with 66 damage. The length is also there for a mace, coming in with 70. It does make the mace very very versatile the handling is also 97 so now talking going back to the helmets for template 2 the helmet is going to be the round kettle over a male now this is gonna be quite confusing to some because they have two round kettles over male they are literally called the same in the data files and they are called the same in the game as well. The only difference is that one has 34 armor and the other has 42. So the round kettle over mail can be noticed because on the back of the head it doesn't bring any metal or leather stripes. The other round kettle over mail that comes with 42 head armor can be noticed by the leather stripes on the back of the head. At the end of the day, with all of these armor sets done and dusted, there are three armors that never change in the Sergeant Crossman. This is the body being at 32, the arm being at 38, and the leg being at 23. The only thing that can change is the head armor that can go either 34, 36, or 42. If you want to make a quick comparison with template 1 of the sharpshooter, these are the major differences. The head armor can either be a plus 8 for the sharpshooter, a plus 6 for the sharpshooter, or the armor is a plus 4 for the sergeant crossbowman, and the arm is a whopping plus 7 for the sergeant crossbowman, the leg is unchanged. Overall, the sharpshooter gets more head armor, but the crossbowman kinda gets what is most needed for a range unit, giving him another edge. Now, talking about the pros and cons of the Sergeant Crossbowman. Between the pros, I added the melee. There's only one range unit better than them at fighting, and that's not even a standard unit, that's a noble unit. I added recruitability with a double plus, as all of the Empire units are recruitable pretty much in the entire center of the map, since the Empire comes with three different factions. And the versatility. Simply because while it's a crossbowman, it does the range duty very well and also the melee duty. Now, between the only plus one, I added the mace, 
A good mace is what can turn an average unit into a good one, and in this case, it does exactly that. The Circle and Crossbowman has a 66% chance of spawning with a mace. Now, be at, among the cons, I had the accuracy. Worse than the sharpshooter, even if not by much. Yeah, it's literally just one point of difference between the sharpshooter and the Circle and Crossbowman, but that needs to be noticed, making the sharpshooter the most accurate and also deadliest crossbowman in the game. The major difference is, in my opinion, the damage, the minus 7 damage, uh, can definitely be felt between the Sergeant Crossbowman and the Sharpshooter, although the same thing can be said about the Mace. And just about that, projectiles damage is also in my minuses, and the ammo. So this unfortunately is a plague of the Crossbowman, as all but two Crossbowmans in the game don't have a second quiver. That means that in long fights they will run out, and because they are also quite a rare unit, they will not simply grab some quarrels or bolts from the ground, because usually what you face are archers. And of course one of the major blows of the Sergeant Crossbowman is the head armor. Only one of the helmet is pretty decent, the other two are very 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 poor. Still better than the wildling. So now as a conclusive thought, what is the best range unit for the Empire you may be asking? And that would be a very good question. Both units, talking about the Sergeant and Crossbowman and the Palatine Guard, get very few shots, but the best armor sets around, making them versatile units in different situations. If you ask me though, the answer is quite simple. I would say that the Crossbowman are the best overall choice. You get slightly less shots, but they will be more accurate. Another upside is that you gain an upside against horses, especially the Cusates, because of the faster projectile speed of the bolts in comparison to the arrows. On top of all of these, the crossbowman will be the first in line in range formation, providing protection for your archers, that in a long fight may still end up shooting while the crossbowman will be holding the few infantry guys that get close. Also, they get a shield. Great in many situations, not just 1v1s, and they can also be used as an occasional shield wall. Although not the greatest, I don't really recommend using them as a shield wall, but hey. At the end of the day, you play to fit your playstyle, but consider this the next time you come across a Sergeant Crossbowman. As always, thanks for watching.